It's Friday, Mark, and things have been cooling off a little bit temperature-wise around the country. That's it. That's why we're going to make another mm. soup. And we've got pumpkin, so it's great in season now. Makes a really good soup, but we've got ginger, kaffir lime, and a few chilies thrown in there just to warm your cockles. Nice. Uh, we've got some coconut cream in there as well to make it a little bit healthier, so mm. we can put extra butter in when we make it. <laughs> nice, okay. Balance. That's right, yeah. Okay, it's going to be fantastic. Can't wait. We'll give you the recipe a little later on. Great to have you with us. We are here in the Beko Kitchen, and Mark, we've got a hearty and warming soup for these cold days. We certainly have. Nice. So pumpkin season now, so yep. you get crown pumpkins. This is a butternut pumpkin, so you've got that sort of shape. Yep. So I'm going to show you how to prep it. Okay, cool. Okay, take the top off. Take the top off. Take the bottom off. Okay, right. well, and then you, so far. Yeah, and then you can sort of see it sort of, sort of meets in the middle, and mm -hmm. larger ones it sort of meets like a third of the way up. So sort of, because it's a small one, I'm going to cut it in half. Yep. All right, one side's solid, one side's got all the seeds in. Oh, which side? Mm, you, you tell me. I don't know. Hang on, <laughs> Neither you tell do I. my mate? Yeah. <laughs> it all looks the same. I think that one's got the seeds in it. So and so next, you know, you've got flat surfaces. It's or like near, a pinata. Or near, <laughs> near enough. <laughs> and then we're just um, we're just peeling it like an orange. Okay, so it's a little bit tougher than the orange skin, so just be careful, take your time, and just take all the skin off. Yep. Do the same on the other side. Nice. And then once you get to that stage, how do you know? I want to know how you know which the seeds are. We're going to right, find out. Just got in. And that's solid. See? I was right. Nice. Yeah. Woo. Right, so that, I was good at picking lotto numbers. So like I was picking <laughs> seeds. So that's the easy side. So just dice all that up. So that's nice. cool. Right. So got a pan on here. Yep. Just put a, just a, a tiny splash of oil, and mm -hmm. then we're going to pop some butter in. Okay. Nice. Yeah, all that butter. Yeah, it's going to make lots of soup. That's right. It's soup. Right. It's lovely. Yeah, it's good. A lot of pumpkin. It's healthy. <laughs> Right, so that's that side. Right, and then what you want to do here is if you just sort of cut round it, so imagine just in the centre you've got this big pocket of um, uh, seeds in there. So yeah. if you cut round it best you can, you know, you might get a few seeds in, but you just scrape them out. And then you can chop that up as well. Okay, easy. Yeah, and then if you cut it there, and then you're just left with a contained sort of seed pit. There you go. Which you can, you know, throw in the garden, grow, and then you can eat them next year. Well, there's one thing I like about pumpkins, because my, my friend gave me an organic pumpkin recently, and uh, what I've noticed is they last forever, don't they? Oh, they're great, yeah. They're, so good. they're really good, yeah. Right, so, butter's foaming. Get your pumpkin in there. Nice. Right, a little bit of salt and pepper. Yep. And we're just, we're just going to cook that down. So, it's you know, it's a quite hard vegetable, a pumpkin, but actually when you cook it, it doesn't take long to soften a pumpkin. Okay. Yeah, So and it is quite fast. Right, we want some flavours in there now. So, kaffir lime leaf, so these are, these are great, you know, buy these, you know, you get, buy like a little pack from the supermarket and you get heaps in there, you know, and you only use like one or two a recipe, um, so stick it in the freezer, you know. So okay, you, freezer, stick, yeah, nice, there you stick go. Stick it in the freezer, they're always in the freezer, you just pull it out and just use it. You know, I'm just sort of tearing it, leaving it in sort of mm. one bit, just tear it, but it just releases Smell all the flavour. Because it's winter and we want to warm ourselves up, a uh, little bit of chilli. Okay. So, obviously, again, just, you know, be careful on how much chilli you put in, how hot you want it. But it's a it's a really good soup, you know, it's, it's a warm soup. It's nice to have that hit of chilli in there because we've got the coconut cream just to mellow it out. Right, and you, you need that little kick, don't you? That little kick of spice. Yeah, you, you want a little kick as well. Warm the cockles. Warm the cockles. And now we're doing ginger. Ginger, yeah. So I'm just peeling it, just slicing it. Okay, so you don't need to grate it, just no, slice no, it No, no, we don't finely. need to grate it, you know, because we're going to blend the whole thing after. Okay, sweet, yeah. So that goes in. Okay, cool. You know, if you want, you can put garlic in there as well. But I mean, we've got so many flavours, we don't really need to. So I'm going to slice some onions. So here's a tip for you. Yeah. So that's why I didn't pre peel it. So I've just taken the top off. I'm going to completely cut through the root. Yeah. Cut it in half. Yes. Just makes it really easy to peel. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, I knew it, that was going to happen. <laughs> I know, yeah. That's, That's why like, you pre do it. Yeah. Right, so then you've got flat surface, yes. you've got no roots on and everything, and we're just going to slice it so you can do it nice and thin all the way through now. And then you're just getting like a nice thin um, a thin slice, and then that can all go in. So nice and nice and fine, pop nice. it in, and that's all going to cook down together as well. Brilliant. You know, just watching your knife skills there again, Mark, had a lot of great feedback about, you know, you teaching us how to do that. And, um, yeah, I, I think... And have you been practising? Well, I haven't been had the chance to cook <laughs> recently. <laughs> I just come here for my healthy meals. Uh, but great to get your feedback, really appreciate it. And, yeah, we'll do some more of that, I think. Yeah, nice. Yeah, cool. Okay, cool. Right, so you just want to keep, um, keep cooking this down, you know, sort of a medium-controlled heat. 
You don't want to burn the butter now, but we want to start roasting that pumpkin, you know, with, with minimal colour so in keep the butter moving it. and get right. all those flavours sort of moving in. And we okay. want to do this for about sort of five, ten minutes if you've got time to keep watching it, stir it every now and again. Um, and then you'll see the pumpkin all start to sort of mush up and then, you know, if you, do it, if, if you take the time to do it to that stage, you will get extra flavour into your soup. Well, you know, all these ingredients and the butter, beautiful savoury smell and I guess with that coconut cream it's just going to oh. make it nice and sweet as well. It's so just fantastic. Brilliant. Yeah, the sweetness of the pumpkin. Mm, mm. Smelling so good. Make it at home yourself if you can and then put a picture on Facebook, show us, share it with us. We'll show you how to do the next stages of the soup in just a few minutes. First though, let's catch up with Holly. Right now though, we need to finish off the soup and it is smelling incredible. Incredible. Right, let's have a look at this soup in here now. So we've been cooking it for about 10 minutes and you can see, you know, we haven't burnt the butter. No. We've got a nice flavour from the butter. All those flavours are sort of going into the pumpkin and you can see the pumpkin's just breaking down. So it's perfect? That is perfect. That's what you want to mm. spend the time to do this stage and you'll get maximum flavour out of it. And beautiful aromas coming from this. Yeah, it's great. It smells great, doesn't it? Uh, chicken stock goes in there. You know, okay. If you want to keep it completely vegetarian, you Use can put some... Um, vegetable stock? Yeah, vegetable stock. Yeah, yeah, yeah. cool. Nice. And uh, we're going to bring up the, bring that to the boil, and then some coconut cream as well. Okay, so great. Get that in there, and that you know that gives it a re really good uh, fresh sort mm. of flavour and a really nice creamy richness as well. So bring it up to the boil, turn it down, simmer it, and we'll just make sure that pumpkin's really really cooked. And then all we got to do is just blend it. You know, so it probably takes about another ten minutes from now. Blend it; it's good to go. Okay, right. What are you going to serve with it? Croutons. Croutons. Yeah, that's it. My fave. Right, so a little French stick. So I'm just going to cut some nice slices. And Your then, knives are always so nice and sharp, Mark, because my bread would have been mushed up <laughs> mushed, by then. Yeah, yeah. 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 Uh, little bit of oil on there. Yep. Just to get a bit of colour. Little tiny bit of salt. And then into here. That was a tiny bit of salt for you. Oh no, it's just a little bit. Well, we've not finished. We're going to put something on there oh, as well. Oh, okay, nice. So we're going to pop it in the griddle pan yep. and toast it. You know, you can do this in the grill, you can do it in the toaster, you can do it wherever you want. But, um, you know, it's really good to do it here so you can see the soup air bubbling away. And then we've got some goat's cheese. So goat's cheese is really nice with their pumpkin soup. Or, Beautiful. Or just to, you know, just to give you something a little bit extra, you know. Croutons, goat's cheese on there. Um, you can do anything you want, you know. Okay. And then just pop it in, you know, it gives you a bit of texture. And, uh, and a nice sort of saltiness Ooh, as well. Oh, nice. Okay, great. And these croutons, do you do them while you're waiting for the soup to cook or do you yeah, wait yeah. until the soup's done? No, no, I, I do them whilst they're cooking, you know, so, okay. so I mean, just before you're going to blend just it. Just before you blend yeah, it, yeah, okay, they're nice sweet. and crispy, they're nice and hot, you know, just get a bit of colour on there, flip them over, and then all we're going to do is get your goat's cheese, look at that, and oh. just pop that on. Oh, yum. And look at that, and that's <laughs> great, you know, you can, I mean, goat's cheese is nice and soft, so you can just, you know, you just leave it like that, or if you want it to be a bit gooier, you know, just throw the whole thing in the oven for uh, two, three minutes just so it melts. Or even just, you know, if you don't want to use the bread with the soup, yeah. just crumble the goat's cheese through. Good, I'm happy Yummy. with just the goat's cheese and the croutons, but we've got the soup as a bonus. Cannot wait to try it, which we'll do a little later on in the show. Thank you so much, Mark. Okay, now it's food time. I can smell that soup, Mark. It is smelling amazing. Is it just about ready yet? Yeah, it's ready. I've blended it. It's looking delicious. Just gonna carefully pour it oh. in. Oh, there Look you go. at That's that, a nice big shot. hearty bowl of soup. Put some of your croutons in there. That's a ginormous <laughs> crouton. A little bit. <laughs> like it's gourmet, size. Mel. Not quite, not quite what I was expecting. Wow. The <laughs> and and there you go. Always carry soup with two hands. And uh, this is like a little training thing for young waiters. Ooh. You know, carry soup and not spill it. Look at that. Great yeah. presentation. Great aroma as well. Done, Mark. Thank you. Fantastic. Yeah. Nice, nice, nice. Okay, what are you doing Tuesday? Right, Tuesday, I've got chicken balls on the menu with soya mango. Oh, yum. Yeah.